you may be wondering why we find these infuriated goons might be chasing young Duro and his best friend Varro down the streets of the Aventine with murderous intent this fine morning. Well, it might have something to do with the fact that Duro, as a part of his initiation to join the gang of a local crime boss called Evander, set fire to a highly combustible apartment complex, committing the crime of arson not an uncommon corruption in those days. Arson was a high-stakes game. If you controlled the local fire brigade, as did Evander, you could extort the distraught owners of the burning building for prompt payment to put out the fire. Or, you could offer to buy the burning buildings at criminally low prices. But lighting buildings on fire with insufficient guile such as in broad daylight and lacking a credible alibi, could get you killed. Get the little maggots. Come on, faster, Varro, keep up. I'm trying, Duro. I'm running as hard as I can. I'm scared. Duro, being inexperienced at lighting urban dwellings on fire, was overzealous. And the fire had spread quickly and most unluckily into the properties of a rival crime boss who was not so easily intimidated. At this moment, Duro no longer worried whether he'd pleased Evander, the local crime boss with whom he had sought to curry favor, in order to join the ranks of his gang. Now, instead, he wondered if he'd live to see another day. Faro, you've got to run faster. Follow me into the Emporium. We can lose them in there. Duro, they're gaining on me! Varro and I have been friends all our lives, and he never could run as fast as me. Like to set fires, do ya, punk? Around here there's rules, see? Burn down our building, we make you pay, punk. And today, you'll pay with blood. Don't let the other one get away! Having grown up in Rome's Aventine, Duro knew his way around the many twists and turns of the Aventine, and how to make himself scarce. If he could just cut through the town square and across the triad of Ceres, he might just be able to lose them. The mighty Hadrian seeks able-bodied young men to apply to join his glorious Imperial legions. Rome's enemies never sleep. Sons of Rome, citizens! Do you think you have the backbone to stand against Rome's enemies? To win glory and honor for your family, for your name, for your emperor? Well, citizen, do you think you have what it takes to march for Rome? lied that day that he was 18, but the centurion in charge of the recruitment that day wasn't going to make a fuss. He'd observed Duro outrun a violent street gang, which showed at least a working instinct for self-preservation, and so Duro signed his name and received three gold coins, and thereby joined the ranks of the world's first professional army, and arguably the most formidable fighting force in the world. Oh! <laughs> 